Hey guys, in this CapCut tutorial I will show you the best tricks for editing short form videos. I am going to use CapCut on desktop but you can apply almost all of these tricks in the mobile and web versions as well. You will learn how to turn any horizontal video into a vertical one, a great way to get a bigger video player for easier editing, a trick to bring attention to any photo or video and much more. These CapCut tricks can be very useful if you want to create better content for social media and do some fun edits for films and TV shows. Let's start with the easiest trick. If you use your laptop as a second screen or have an additional monitor, you can simply move the timeline to that screen and your video player will automatically become larger and allow you to edit short videos more easily. This trick lets you use CapCut on two screens, making editing easier with extra space to work. It's handy for editing any video, especially for short form content. In the next part of the video, I will show you how to create photo animations and how to use motion backgrounds. First, import your video and the photo or sticker you want to appear in your video. Before editing, my video looks like this. This is a brand new CapCut feature and now I'm going to show you how to use it. Now add your video to the timeline and then add your photo or sticker above it. Align the photo with your video and then position it as you like. For now place the photo on the person in the video. Later I will guide you on adding animations and positioning it behind the person. If you want, choose the blend mode you like. Add a keyframe at the point where you want the animation to start and then at the point where you want the animation to end, position the photo as you like. Right click on your photo and then click on show keyframe animation. Click on this arrow to open keyframe graphs. Select your keyframe and then click on the graphs button on the right side. Select the graph you like and then you can adjust it. Graphs will elevate the animation's quality, ensuring a more visually appealing and polished outcome. When you are done, right click on your photo and then click on hide keyframe animation. After editing, my animation looks like this. Now I will show you how to add motion backgrounds. In the video description find free download links for these backgrounds. Import them into CapCut once downloaded. This is what the motion backgrounds look like. Select one you like and then add it to the timeline. Align it with your video, then enlarge it to fit the background and after that select the screen blend mode. Adjust the opacity to your liking and then position the photo above the background. Now go to the Animations tab and select in and out animations for the background and for your photo. Now you need to add the original video above all the videos. Reduce the volume to zero and then in Cutout remove the background. Select Auto Cutout and wait for the process to complete. After editing, my video looks like this. This is a brand new CapCut feature and now I'm going to show you how to use it. Make your video more engaging by integrating an in animation. Click on your video and then select Animation tab. In the In Sub tab select the animation you like and then set its duration. To make the animation better click on Audio tab and choose a sound effect that you like. After editing my animation looks like this. This is a brand new CapCut feature and now I'm going to show you how to create smooth zoom in and zoom out animations that will make your video look better. Click on your video and then add a keyframe where you want the animation to start. Now increase the scale at the point where you want the zoom animation to end. You can also position the video as you like. Now I'm gonna show you how to create zoom out animation. Select the end point of the animation and then scale down to 100%. Position the video to its original position. Right click on your video and then click on show keyframe animation. Click on this arrow to open keyframe graphs. Now right click on the first keyframe and then select the graph you like. 
repeat the same process with the last keyframe. Right click on your video and then click on hide keyframe animation. This is what my zoom in and zoom out animations look like now. This is a brand new CapCut feature and now... Auto Reframe is one of the most useful tools in CapCut. You can find it and use it directly on the home page and you can also use it when you open CapCut and now I will show you how. First import the horizontal video you want to convert to vertical format. Here select 9 by 16 ratio. Now in the basic tab turn on the Auto Reframe option. Here you can set the stabilization, the speed of the camera movement and choose the format. Select 9x16 format and then click apply. After using this feature my video looks like this. I'm gonna show you two ways to extend your video background, so let's get started. This trick will help you to separate each scene from any video. Before editing, my video looks like this. To split scenes from a video, right click on the video, then click on the split scene option and wait for the process to complete. CapCut will create a folder with all the scenes from the video that you can now use for new editing. This trick is great for showcasing photos in your video. Add the video to the timeline, then go to the library and choose a background in color that you like. Add it above your video. Click on the background, go to the mask option and then select the horizontal mask. Rotate it and position it at the bottom of the video. Use this arrow to create a fade effect. Now adjust the duration of the effect and then select fade in and fade out animations. Now you can add your photo or create it with AI. If you want to create an AI image, select AI generated option. Here you can describe the image you want to create or in showcase you can choose one of the offered options. Select an image you like, click use prompt and then click generate. Now select the photo you like and add it above the fade effect. Align it with the effect then resize it and position it at the bottom of the video. Now add fade in and fade out animations. Add a keyframe at the beginning, then at the point where you want the animation to end, position and enlarge the image. To make the animation better, you can use the graphs you like. After editing, your video should look like this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit the link in the video description to download the latest version of CapCut.